Hi everybody, my name is Matt Crump. I'm an associate professor of psychology at Brooklyn College of CUNY, and I'm gonna be your instructor this semester for Psych 2530, Introduction to Cognitive Psychology. And before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself a little bit. So I run the Computational Cognition Lab here at Brooklyn College. This is my lab website. And I'm just telling you this because it means I am a cognitive psychologist. I've been doing work in the field for about two decades. And hopefully um, I can act as a good tour guide for you as we dive into the material. So I'm excited for this semester. If we dive into the courses section of my lab website, you'll see a spot for our course. I'm just clicking on the link here and this takes us to the course website. We'll talk about this in this video. It has links to the syllabus, textbook, learning modules we'll be using this semester, as well as slide decks and other materials. So we're actually on the getting started slide deck right now. If we click it, here it is. So let's get started, welcome. First of all, what is this course about? Well, it is about cognition. It's an overview introductory course. We're gonna talk about questions you might have about how your own cognition works, as well as the questions that cognitive researchers have been asking. And we will talk about the methods they use to answer those kinds of questions, as well as the findings they have found since about the late 1800s. There's a whole bunch of things we know about how cognition works. There's a lot of remaining questions, lots of things we don't know. Researchers have also produced explanations and theories of cognitive abilities and cognitive phenomena. And we'll talk about those ideas as well. Finally, we'll talk about applications and implications of cognitive research for society. So that's what's in store, but this lecture is not really about cognition, it's about this course. So let's talk about course resources. We've got Blackboard we'll be using that, we've got this course website, and we've got an open educational resource in the form of a textbook that's free to you. So what are we gonna use Blackboard for? We're all too familiar with this system. We're gonna use it for course announcements, so make sure your email is up to date. We will be using Blackboard for the weekly learning modules. That's where you can find pointers on what to read, what to watch, and what to do every week that will include quizzes and assignments. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. The learning modules and other areas of Blackboard will always provide links to the locations of any course material that is relevant. Oftentimes those links will go to the course website. And if you have questions about how this course is working or about an assignment or about anything to do with the course, use the discussion forum on Blackboard. Uh, post a new thread, ask your question, I'll answer it. And maybe another student who knows the answer will be able to answer it. We'll create a nice resource for everybody in the course to use. Here's the link to the course website. This is posted on Blackboard. We just saw an example of it. It's always gonna have the most current syllabus. It has a link to the textbook. It also has information about the weekly learning module so you can follow along there. And it's got slide decks like this and other resources as we will need those things. Here is the textbook. It's called Instances of Cognition. It's something that actually I've been writing, so it's a work in progress. It's free. It's available as a web book, as a PDF, and as an EPUB. But I'll tell you right now, it's better read as a web book. The formatting is made for the web. The PDF version and the EPUB version still need to be improved in terms of their formatting. But you can download them and use them if you want. And uh, like, like I mentioned, this is a work in progress. Hopefully we can improve the content over the course and you might even be able to help me depending, uh, well, I will make announcements about how you can go ahead and do that throughout the course. Let's take a look at the textbook real quick. Here's the link. And uh, if you were to get started on the first chapter, just go over here, click on what is cognition and start reading. It should take you about 31 minutes. We've got our reading times listed. If you want to download the PDF, click over on reading formats and you could access the PDF version or the EPUB version here. 
and we'll talk more about the textbook as we get into it throughout the semester. If we need other resources besides the textbook and the course website, they will be posted on Blackboard and or the course website. Okay, let's talk about the syllabus and logistics of doing the course. First of all, it's important that you read the syllabus, so please read the syllabus. You can access it here. It's on the course website. You can click syllabus, click spring 2022. Here's the syllabus. Do scroll down and read this thing. I'm not going to uh, take our time in this video to go and read through the entire syllabus. That is one of your responsibilities and it's your reading assignment for this getting started module. I am going to do a basic overview right here though. So we've got 15 weeks in the semester. 12 of those weeks will be for learning modules and three of those weeks will be for exams, two midterms and one final. The schedule is posted on the syllabus. So the first module is this one and it starts on Friday, January 28th. Then the next week we've got our first major content module called What is Cognition? After that we'll do mental imagery and so on. So here's our 15 weeks and you can see what learning module is scheduled, when the midterm weeks are, and when the final exam is. If you're Wanting to get started on a module, you can click Getting Started and you'll be taken to the learning module information. You can follow along, do the readings, watch and listen to this lecture. That'll be posted here after I'm done making it and then engage by doing a quiz or a writing assignment. Once you're done with this learning module, move on to the next one. So here's the What is Cognition module. You can uh, read some stuff, watch and listen to some lectures, and then engage by doing a quiz or a writing assignment. Here's the reading. As I make the modules, the links will appear here. They will always be ready by the week that you have to do them, if not earlier. Here's how assessment and grading works in the course. We have um, 12 weekly modules worth a total of 60 points. Every assignment or quiz will generally be worth five points. There's 12 modules, 12 times five is 60. You will see that there's assignment choice and flexibility in this course. So you can get way more than 60 points if you want to do more than the minimum number of assignments. If you do more than the minimum, the extra points you get will turn into extra credit. You can get up to 10 extra credit points and there's a formula you divide anything over 60 by five, so it's a five to one ratio. All of the exams are equally weighted. They're worth 13.33 points towards your final grade. Let's talk about the working, oh sorry, the weekly learning modules a little bit. These will be posted weekly. You will see information about them on Blackboard and the course website. They will include readings, lectures like this one, and quizzes and assignments. Generally, you will be asked to complete the work, that is a quiz or assignment, within the week for that learning module. So submit your quizzes or assignments, complete them by the posted due dates on Blackboard. There's lots of opportunity for assignment choice. Let's take a look at that. Any given module will have multiple possible assignments at least two, possibly more. So there will always be some kind of quiz. This will be a multiple choice quiz testing you on content from the readings. There will also be other ways to engage in the course material and there'll be different kinds of writing assignments and other kinds of assignments on offer. Each one will be worth usually about five points. You get to choose what assignments you want to complete. You can complete as many as you want. You max out at 60 points towards your final grade, but you can complete more than that. This means if you miss an assignment, it's not that big of a deal. You can do an extra one later on in a future module to make up for any of those points that you missed. Anything you do over 60 points is worth extra credit. And those extra points will be converted 
following a ratio of five to one. So if you did 100 total points, you'd only get 60 towards your final grade. That extra 40, you divide that by five. So for example, that would give you eight extra credit points. That's quite a lot. Uh, you can do up to 10 extra credits and that's the difference between a whole letter grade. That could be a B to an A. So take advantage. So there's that maximum. You can do 10 extra credit points. Let's talk about the exams. There's three of them, they're equally weighted. The exams will be open for a whole week during each exam week. These will typically be multiple choice with around 45 questions, possibly more, possibly less. The exams will test content from the preceding learning modules. The questions on the quizzes will be like the questions on the exams. So if you do the quizzes for each learning module, you will be practicing the kinds of questions you will see on the exams. All right, it's really important that you uh, take the time to review CUNY's academic integrity policy. The link to that policy is right here. It's your responsibility to understand that policy and to conduct your behavior in this course and all of your courses at CUNY according to a high standard of academic integrity. There's also more information about these issues on the syllabus for this course. So I know you can do that and I expect that you will. If you have questions about this course at any time, there's at least two ways you can get answers. The first way, use the discussion board on Blackboard. Post a new thread and ask your question. Then I can hopefully provide an answer or another student might be able to provide an answer. By asking all of our questions there, especially ones that are general, we'll create a resource for everyone in the course. If you have a question, probably someone else has that same question. So please do use the discussion board to ask as many questions as you have. If you have a more personal question, uh, please email me, put Psych2530 into the subject line and here's my email address. This is also information available on Blackboard. All right, so let's talk about some next steps. If you're working on the Getting Started module right now, you could move on and take the quiz for this module on Blackboard, or you could complete the writing assignment also on Blackboard. Once you're done with that, you can learn, uh, sorry, you can move on to the first official learning module, learning module one. What is cognition? Okay, I'm gonna to try to keep this under 15 minutes. We've got a couple minutes left. And if you've stumbled on this video, you're a student in the course and you're wondering a little bit about using Blackboard, let's jump over to the Blackboard for the course right now. Um, this is still a work in progress as I'm recording this video, so there are no course announcements yet. But if you head over to the left side and you can see learning modules, you can click on learning modules and this is where you're going to find the different learning modules for this semester. So right now there's only one up here, learning module zero, getting started. If you click on this module, you will see a few of the goals of the module. You will see some steps to follow. Um, so you're being asked to click this link which should, let's see what happens. Uh, oh, can't be loaded in this frame. We need to change that up. But if you click the link, it will take you to the Getting Started module on the course website. It's asking you to read the syllabus for the course. This little lecture is going to be posted right here. So you'll be able to watch this lecture as it's going on. Um, and afterwards, you're going to be asked to engage with this content by doing a short quiz and or completing a short writing assignment. And those are right here. If you scroll down, you can see there is a, uh, let's see, questions about cognition. This is a writing assignment. I don't see the quiz here. So that means I need to make it appear there. 
if you are expecting something to be on a module that's not there, that's one of those things that you need to email me about or post on the course discussion board. So for example, if we were to go over to the course discussion board, um, this is where you can ask questions about the course. How do you do that? Click on this thing, create thread, and you can make a subject line. The, the quiz for the first module is not loading. Please help. And if you submit, that thing will be posted to the discussion board and I will be able to provide an answer. All right, so that is all for this Getting Started lecture. And have fun, we'll see you next time in Learning Module 1, What is Cognition?